Okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Khairan Syed bin Muhammad Ehrunizi My metric number 23DM 19F1078 So I want to uh, tell about introduction about sexual harassment So as we can know sexual harassment is a form of a sex discrimi discrimination that violates title of uh, of the civil right act, act of 1964 which is this is unwelcome sexual advance request for sexual favor and other verbal or physical conduct of a sexual nature constitute sexual harassment when submission to or rejection of this conduct explicit explicitly or implicitly affects an individual's employment unreasonably interferes interferes with an individual works uh, performance or creates an inti intimidation hostile or offensive work environment so sexual harassment can occur in a variety of circumstances including but not limited to the following the victim as well as the harasser may be woman or man uh, the victim does not have to be of the opposite sex the harasser can be victims supervisor an agent of employer a supervisor in another area as a co-worker or non-employee so there's a lot of type sexual harassment which is gender harassment uh, seductive behavior sexual uh, bribery sexual imposition uh, and then uh, so I will tell about uh, most common thing that which is gender harassment, generalized sex sexist statement and behavior that convey insulting or degrading attitude about woman or man. Example: exulting remarks, obscene jokes, or humor about sex. Uh, hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Aziz bin Sham Shahruddin. My metric number 23DM19F1047. So, uh, for gender, women are more likely to be victim of sexual harassment more often because they are than men because of lack of the power or are in a more unavailable uh, insecure position, lack of self confidence, and are uh, too antisocial. Okay, so the question uh all based on the form we have circulated, we have received feedback that here we can see that people age uh eighteen until twenty nine are more victim of sexual harassment, and only ten percent of under eighteen and no. For thirteen. Okay, four question. Do you think sexual harassment can affect everyone hard to success? Uh, so based on form, sexual harassment can affect everyone because it creates an environment that make it hard for employees to success. The possible effect of sexual harassment in the workplace include emotional and physical issues victims of sexual harassment often suffer emotional and psychology harm, including stress, depression, and anxiety. Okay, what is the most frequently faced limitation of effect sexual harassment? Okay, mm uh, for us, 18% choose depression and anxiety over low self-esteem which is only 20% and 0% sleep disturbance uh, is because it is from past stories that have occurred in themselves and this cause them to feel depressed due to depression and anxiety from low self-esteem as this will always be remembered in their minds Okay, so last the effect on the moral of all people can also be serious. Uh, this happen because sex will maintain a profound effect on a victim for life. 
So for next, uh, our for next our survey about the question, how comfortable would you feel discussing a behavior or experience that make you feel uncomfortable with any of the following? So uh, from this bar chart that we can see, the result. Uh, there's uh there's a lot of people uh there's a lot of uh answer that tell the person who involved is they they tell that they very uncomfortable about it so and then um there's a formidable one for uncomfortable it's the same thing for very uncomfortable still in the same range but it's a little bit down and then there's a little bit person or a little bit answer of a respondent tell that they very comfortable to the person who involved and for next uh, data a non-supervisory co-worker uh, there's a uh, some of respondent tell they very uncomfortable and then uh, for middle one they told the uncomfortable for the non-supervisory co-worker and then they has uh, some uh, feels that they think a non-supervisory co-worker that can give them more com comfortable about uh, discussing about behavior experience so uh, for the third one uh, a supervisor supervisor there's a uh, uh, two respondent so that uh, supervisors should not have a good discussion uh, and give a very uncomfortable and for me the one it's a lot uh, almost uh, almost six then ten respondent so that uh, they're very uncomfortable about the supervisor and then uh, for the third one <laughs> uh, that told the comfortable things that a supervisor should know about discussing a behavior or experience but there's a little bit of a, a respondent uh, for human resource management uh, from the result uh, what I what we can see that uh, the same range or not uh, at all say they're comfortable or uncomfortable for uh, a, a little bit uh, of a little uh, little respondent so that they are un very uncomfortable about human resource management and then there's a uh, three data that call human resources uncomfortable too so for uh, comfortable and very comfortable is is the highest range that should they know that uh, human resource management can be can be comfortable for them to feel discussing about a behavior experience that made you feel comfortable or not so for second data or for second question that we get a result about uh, talking about uh, something like uh, pornography or sexy story or jokes uh, that can uh, off offensive that to all our uh, to our respondent there's a 10 response that told that a 60% uh, says uh, the, the, the sex jokes or porn jokes uh, the told this yes yeah, 60 for 60% it's very offensive for them or they feel like uncomfortable about the jokes and then there's a 40% uh, which means it's just for uh, respondent told that uh, the sex jokes are kind of like uh kind of like they very comfortable about that so continue to alif okay uh my name is mom alif daus bin mom maruf my matrix number is 23 dam 19f1086 and i'm going to talk about offenses offensive remarks about your appearance body and sexual activities from the responses and the one that that take my attention is this one which is she said about body shaming face shaming and it and if you're talking about someone private part can make that people scared 
and even can lead them on having a really hard depression and anxiety. Uh, she also said that you cannot talk about someone's body, face, or even their private part towards or behind them. And also that she said that you cannot say that just a joke because it's not a joke. Uh, and I think that most of people that got s- sexual harassment is a woman because there are also many answer that uh, people like to harass their breasts. Okay. And then the second one is refer to people of your gender in insulting of or offensive terms. Uh, the responses t- uh, the responses have seven but the first one is about sexual joke. Second, the experience of being harassed is often similar to the feeling of being in an interpersonal conflict. Uh, the vi- them has a difficult relationship with the perpetrator and may well feel threatened and also many people if I uh, of course and yes and the last one I, w- I will talk about is the about the question is about put you down or act in a condescending way toward you because of your gender the first one is said yes then the second one uh, the, the second one said yes because harassment effect on an individual can range from simple irritation to extreme depression uh, those who are subject to these types of behavior can lose their self esteem and morale. The sec uh, the third one said don't know and fourth also don't know. But then the other answer is comparing or even downgrade people by using their gender or such a stupid things that people do. Like why you must talk about bad about someone based on their gender being a male or female like there's nothing wrong and that isn't a reason for you to talk bad about people and the last one is the something uh, towards women is you should do this because you are a woman uh, most of the people saying this uh, reason is because they thought that uh, like cooking uh, tidying room or house is all to women jobs and not the men jobs and then uh, next uh, the represent is going to be Hazinism okay and good morning uh, to everyone. My name is Muhammad Hazib bin Muhammad Nizam. Number metri- metric number 23DN19F1053. So today uh, I'm going to explain about the topic of sexual harassment. The question is what do you think happened to the victim of sexual harassment? So the response is uh, what, what we going to about to explain is uh, uh, some some people have depression, trauma, anxiety, and they don't have any motivation to do anything. And most likely phobia, and it causes PTSD, uh, post-trauma symptoms disorder. And the person will facing hardly depression and anxiety. Is due to all the rubbish and sexual harassment that people being done to his or her. Uh, and victims of sexual harassment, the most common diagnosis are depression, anxiety, and even post-trauma, traumatic stress disorder. Ah, uh, as like I explained, some of the victim also want to commit suicide 
because of that so the second question is can sexual harassment make someone trauma and state your reason uh, the response is uh, yes because psychology pain can lead to physical pain it's like uh, we can uh, uh, yes for some reason there's many reason why sexual harassment will make someone trauma even if she or he needs to face that kind of situation very single day of his her or her life the second is sometimes sexual harassment can bring trauma because it's difficult for the victim to deal with it the mental health becomes so overwhelming because they can process it when experienced for a long state especially if the harassment leads to violence and or assault right so for the conclusion about our topic which is sexual harassment uh, so as we can know that sexual harassment uh, which is uh, unwelcome sexual advance request for sexual favor and other verbal or physical conduct and a sexual nature constitute sexual harassment when submission or rejection of this conduct explicitly or implicitly affects individual employment reasonably interferes and individual works performance and create in intimidation hostile of or offensive work environment so for the reason that uh, we make uh, we make an an uh, survey. We we make a, a survey, which is we want to know about uh, about a percentage or majority that uh, that gender. What gender is majority uh, has been uh, faced with the sexual harassment, and then which. Uh, uh, the percentage that are uh, kind of like um, uh, each that they got a uh, sexual harassment which others uh, so uh, this this is the reason why we make the uh, survey so to conclude uh, about our all topic about our all um survey which is as we can know sexual harassment is the thing that we cannot can play cannot can be a uh, something like jokes or can make like a uh, sexual uh, talk uh, or easy stock uh, that's why we got a se uh, sex education and then uh, how to we try to communicate with a different gender uh, in Muslim also like that so we can know how how we can go through or should not go through to talking about this uh, topic. So that's all for our group. So thank you so much. Assalamualaikum.